Well, Nikki and Eric, we are standing here at Peltier Road exit. This is where the Highway 99 is closed southbound. I'm going to have you take a look at the closure. Also, the traffic to your left. Now, for the majority of the day, the traffic here just was not moving. It was clogged for a large part of the day and lots of water just off to the side of the roadway. At least four or five times before getting home. It took me about three hours getting home on a 30 minute drive. Highway 99 near Woodbridge Road remains closed tonight, and nearby areas were also closed to traffic because of heavy flooding, although the driver of this red pickup ignored the sign and drove through anyway. Primary concern right now is the full closure of State Route 99, northbound and southbound between Turner Road and Lodi and Peltier Road here in Acampo. Although exits leading up to the closure weren't flooded with water, they were with cars clogging the flow of traffic. Drivers used caution as they traveled on frontage roads with the water encroaching. Caltrans isn't sure when they can reopen at least a portion of the highway, but they're working on it. They're using some sump pumps, 10 inch diameter, big steel pipe to pump out a lot of this water from the roadway and back into the McComey River. Part of Woodbridge Road, which was passable earlier in the day, wasn't by nightfall. Pretty bad, but we're, we're managing. How deep do you get? I mean, how high is the water, you think? How many feet? About three feet, and we're the only house that has barriers up and is able to pump out. Everyone else's homes is flooded. Blake Martin of Acampo hopped in his truck to help out his neighbors. Oh, so far today? Just the next door neighbors and stuff, yeah. make, make sure everything's okay. Oh, you're just doing it out of the goodness of your heart. We're trying because okay. helping them helps us. So He's just hoping the roadways will be cleared up and taken care of for good. Um, <laughs> fix 99 and get the infrastructure right because this happens every five years. It hasn't been this bad since 1997. But five, six years ago happened, the five years before that happened, so everyone knows about it, but nothing gets done. Now for an updated list of all the closures here in San Joaquin County, just go to fox40.com. Reporting live from Highway 99 tonight, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.